Hey, good morning, guys. Happy Thursday. I'm Steve Luttrell, your hair loss consultant, and welcome to my channel, The Real Deal, where I talk about your hair loss, why you've lost your hair, and is there anything you can do to get it back? Welcome to my newest segment, Coffee Chat. And Coffee Chat is a few minutes I spend with you on Tuesdays and Thursdays before I do my first client in the morning. And we have a quick brief discussion about some of your concerns and questions. And I also give you maybe a couple tips or tricks that I might have up my sleeve or uh, maybe share with you a toy or my favorite product that I might have uh, or tool that I might have that helps me and my clients be successful in wearing hair. All right, guys. All right, so uh, let's move on with our first part of our coffee chat this morning. Okay, so this morning we're gonna talk about a concern that a lot of people have when they start wearing hair is, when do I tell my spouse, my date, my new boyfriend, new girlfriend, that uh, I wear hair? So when do you tell that person that you're dating? First date, second date, third date, fourth date. Um, you know, that's all an individual situation, I guess, depending on how crazy you get. Uh, now, if it's a person that likes to run their hands through your hair, you know, which is fine if you're securely bonded, full head bonded, you can pretty much do almost anything at that point. Um, but if you're just taped on with a few pieces of tape and you're just a daily wear, let's say, and you're not as secure, you know, you might want to just say, hey, look, you know, I have a real sensitive scalp and, and I'm not really into people touching my hair. It's not, it's one of my things, you know, and, uh, but that's it. That's all I have. Just one thing. Just don't touch my hair. Um, so, you might, like I said, you might have to cross that path. But it, for the most part, my clients have always experienced that, you know what, it looks fantastic. It looks great. So, hey, I'm good with it. You're good with it. I'm good with it. If that makes you feel better about yourself, most people don't really care. So, uh, so when do you cross that path? That's an individual situation, but I don't think you have to go out first date and go, hey, by the way, I wear hair. Um, not necessary, all right, guys? All right, so hope that helps you get past that big hump of dating and wearing a hair system. All right, so let's move on. Okay, so. Here's a little tip trick for you guys out there that I always give my clients because especially when a client hasn't had hair in a while and they're not using hair products, gels and pomades and these kind of things of uh, how do I style, how do I use products? Well, my suggestion to most clients is that the first thing you want to do is put a leave-in conditioner in your hair detangler and that gives the hair a little bit of dirt for lack of better words. Um, so it, has some holdability and just go ahead and style your hair blow dry it do whatever you need to do to get it in place and uh, you know get it pretty much where you want it then you're gonna take your product your pomade your gel whatever that may be and put a little bit in your hands and and depending on what kind of gel is if it's an extra strong type hold gel you might want to put a little water and break it down with water a little bit to get started and uh, you want to just emulsify it into your hands really really good and bring it out onto your fingertips and work it through the hair with your fingertips a little bit don't just take it and put it in your hands and go blah 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 because you're gonna have globs and globs of gels in certain places and not other places which when you go to style and comb and move your hair it's going to make it even that much harder to style so less is more in the beginning and you can always keep adding more that's one nice thing about it and the nice thing about a lot of these products today they are water based so if it gets a little too much or whatever you can take a little spray bottle of water and spray it in there and dilute it down and it should help the movability of that a lot better all right guys um, so less is more and uh, like i said Dry your hair, get it all dry, get it kind of styled in place, and then go in and finish it off with your products, your gel and your hairspray and your pomades. All right, guys? All right, so I hope that helped you out this morning with a little tip of styling your hair and your hair system. Um, let's move on. Okay, now we've got that. Let's go on and move on to favorite hair. Now, the pandemic situation today, um, we're ordering custom hair today. So when you go and you order your custom hair, whether it be from a, a vendor out there, or factory, or a studio that you're going to, or even through me, um, 
you have choices. You have Indian hair, you have Chinese hair, you have Remy hair, you have human hair, yaki hair, synthetic hair, canaculon hair. You have all these different choices, virgin hair. Which one do I choose? Uh, well, my favorite all around for everybody is Remy hair. Uh, Remy hair is great because it's more like Caucasian type hair. It starts out most of the time as Indian hair. Uh, then they remove some of the cuticle, which makes it bend a little easier. Most Asian hair is pretty straight. You don't see too many Asians walking around with curly wavy hair, uh, unless it's been chemically changed by a perm. Um, but for the most part, um, their hair is, the cuticle is very thick, so it holds the hair very straight. So when they go in there and they remove some of the cuticle on the hair and give it a little bit of wave, basically put a little body wave into the hair, it's much more like Caucasian hair and it's kind of a one size fits all hair for everybody. Uh, virgin hair, virgin hair is beautiful, but the availability of virgin hair is limited. Um, its cost is very high. So uh, when you're using a thin skin disposable type product or a lace system, again, another disposable type product, you're not really looking for longevity. So why put all that money into a extremely high quality hair for something that's not going to last that long? It's gonna fall out in a thin skin base. Um, Connecting hair or your synthetic type hair, I'm not a real big fan of because it's like a wig. Uh, whatever they make it in the factory do, that's what it does and it does nothing more. Uh, you can melt it with a very hot blow dryer, but then you're compromising the synthetic and the plastic and probably gonna burn your scalp while trying to do that. Um, yaki hair, yaki hair is, uh, it's, a, it's a fake gray hair texture that it gives. Um, it's rough and coarse, so uh, I don't really suggest that too much. Uh, some people use it for the gray and high percentages of gray, and that's fine. They blend a synthetic and a, and a yak together. Uh, but as far as yaki, just as far as the brown, don't use it. Um, I don't suggest that at all. Um, and that's, like I said, that's pretty much it. Um, my favorite, like I said, my tip and my favorite hair is Remy hair, guys. All right, so that's it for Coffee Chat this morning. I hope you've got a little information from us this morning. If you have any suggestions or any comments or anything you would like to hear about on Coffee Chat in the morning that we'd like to discuss in the morning, let me know in the comment section below. And if you liked what you saw today, give me that thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. That's how I keep this going. And uh, this has been Coffee Chat. And I'm Steve Luttrell, your hair loss consultant. And this has been Coffee Chat. Have a great hair day, guys.